might be Giants tonight. As tonight the Giants lost to the Mets four to three, and Josh Osich blew the game in the ninth inning. So now the losing streak is up to four. Blew the game in the ninth inning. Now the losing streak is up to four, and it's going to be on an 0-5 Jeff Samarja tomorrow to be the stopper for the Giants, which is not, which is not necessarily good news in that sense. But both Buster Posey keeps tearing it up at the with the baseball tonight, so that's that's been kind of good for the, in that sense. So hopefully that will shore things up. And Joe Panic had a decent night, going two for four after uh, getting nearly skunked in the Cincinnati series. And other than that, though, it was Christian Arroyo had an awful night, though. And but then again, Jake Degrom was dealing with double-digit strikeouts. But Arroyo, I don't know. Christian Arroyo may might get the night off tomorrow. Maybe you might see Kelby Tomlinson. Or you might see Eduardo Nunez at short tomorrow night to give Christian Arroyo a night off. And Hunter Pence was okay tonight. He was one for four. But also the good news was is that we are starting to see... We are now starting to see... Denard Spann go on a rehab assignment in San Jose, so maybe that maybe stabilizes the leadoff position for the time being, but truly I'm not maybe in any rush to see Denard Spann be activated, especially the way this season's going. Brandon, Brandon Crawford's getting pretty close to being activated. I don't know if, that, if he's going to be the magic bullet either. You know, Osich, he had his first speed bump of the year. And and Law didn't give, help him out either, so... I don't know, I think it's time maybe the Giants maybe bring in a... call up a swing man. I think Yoan Gregorio could be the guy that could fill the swing man role for the time being. Until Albert Suarez is maybe able to come off the disabled list. And who knows, I think it could be finally, Giants have two weeks, to, in my opinion, to start turning it around. Or it absolutely might be time to start selling. Start listening to offers on Johnny Cueto. Start maybe asking Matt Cain to waive his no trade clause to, if he wants to go to a contender. Look at trying to get what you can for Eduardo Nunez. Maybe try to get what you can for the Maybe try to get a top prospect for Hunter Pence. 
but we need we need we, it's got to start soon. May, normally in May, this is where the Giants normally turn it around, and I don't see it this year. And it's the window's closing, and this is also a they might be Giants kind of. So I'm going to kind of combine it tonight. So I'm going to kind of mix it in. And if, it, and if it becomes a tomorrow team, question is what's going to happen to Bruce Bochy? Does Bochy want to hang around and be on a rebuilding team? That's a question. Does he maybe opt for retirement? Or maybe do, does Bochy move to the front office and prepare Ron Wotus to take over the managing position? That's just this team has a lot more questions than answers for the time being, and and I just don't know. It's just it's look at all the teams that have won the World Series in the past few years. St. Louis Cardinals. That's a team that's. Finally, heading into re, kind of into a retool, rebuild mode, and the starting rotation is not the greatest right now, and they're kind of caught in a rock and a hard place. The Royals, they're reaching a point where they're having to tear it down to the bolts since they're a small market team, and. It's just it's, I think the Giants may have to stop riding off the high of the three championships. They're nice. They've we've had a great run in the last few years, but the outfield's really leaking oil. We need we need to find the solutions. Whether it is Mac Williamson, maybe calling up Austin Slater, maybe calling up Ryan Ryder Jones, as they've been trying him out in the outfield. Maybe time to start plugging in some youngsters and. Go from there and play with some house money. So we'll see what happens in that sense. And that sense and that maybe take a couple years to rebuild the team and figure out some answers in the outfield you know and maybe get Ty Beatty up by in a few weeks if if they if they start really falling out of it in a few weeks maybe you call up Ty Beatty Beatty's really starting to think I'm starting to think Beatty's reached a point in the minors where where things are I don't know, I think we got we actually have somebody else on air today. Find the 
Corey, right, do I see you? Did I lose you? Try again. Trying to get you set up here, so give me a second. But other than that, though, it's it'll be interesting to see what the remaining season is. It's, but I really think it's a two-week window here, or Larry Bear could join. could could end up giving or Larry Bear could give end up giving Larry Vera could give give Bobby Evans the green light to allow Bobby Evans to sell and try to get some prospects if things don't turn around very soon. And like I said, I think Bochy's maybe he retires. His he's got health issues. His heart's not in the best anymore. So we'll see what. See what happens with that. And Yeah, we'll see after that. No, we'll see who gets moved. We'll see if Cueto can bring back a top prospect and we'll see what happens if they do decide to sell or just to try to get below the luxury tax for next year. But we'll see what we gotta get through tomorrow, see what happens with tomorrow night's game and maybe it's time to call up like I said, I think Yohan Gregorio. 
not the great command it in command issues, but I think he could be a guy that can maybe help out with the pen for the time being. Let's get to game two. All right, let's go around the league and see what's going on. Another baseball action tonight. All right, the Orioles, the, the Orioles beat the Nationals six to four. Your winning pitcher was Kevin Gaussman. Your losing pitcher was Gio Gonzalez. And Trey Mancini went two for three for the Orioles tonight. And Jason Worth went two for four for the Nationals. The Blue Jays beat the Indians four to two. Marcus Stroman was your winning pitcher. Trevor Bauer was your losing pitcher. And Bowers' ERA is now 7.36, which is not going to cut it in the majors. And 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 Danny Barnes was your losing what gave up two earned runs in that game. And the Royals beat the Rays seven to three. Austin Carnes was your winning pitcher. Ian Snell was your losing pitcher. And Corey Dicker Dickerson had a three for four game. And Eric Cosmer had a three for five game for Kansas City. And the New York Yankees clobbered the Cincinnati Reds tonight, 10 to four. Kinsuke Tanaka was your winning pitcher, now at five and one. He's really starting to have a good night, good season. And I had a question on air, so that's I've got a good question in the message. It's about Bam Bam. We'll get that get to that in a minute. Gary Sanchez went three for three for the Yankees tonight. The Cardinals beat the beat the Marlins nine to four. Your winning pitcher was. Carlos Martinez, your losing pitcher, was Adam Conley.
and Carlos Martinez helped himself at the plate tonight, going two for three. Not too bad for a for a, a pitcher. And across the bay, the Oakland A's beat the LA Angels three to two. Your winning pitcher was Leon Hendricks. Your losing pitcher was Eolis Guerra. And Ben Revere went three for five. The LA Dodgers clobbered the Pittsburgh Pirates 12 to 1. And Alex Wood is now 3 and 0 oh, and was your winning pitcher. Your losing pitcher was Trevor Williams and now falls to 1 and 2. And Chris Taylor had a 3 3 for 4 game for the Dodgers tonight. And the way Wood is pitching for the Dodgers, he's going to bring back a, maybe a good prospect for them since the Dodgers are likely going to have to sell in order to get below the below the luxury tax. Josh Lindblom allowed four earned runs in that game. The, the Padres beat the Rangers five to one. Trevor Cahill was your winning pitcher. Your losing pitcher was Nick Martinez. And the Rockies and Cubbies were postponed due to rain in Denver tonight. And tonight in NBA action, the Warriors swept, completed the sweep against the Utah Jazz. And now we'll await the winner between the, between the Rockets and the Spurs. And in NHL tonight, action tonight, the Capitals forced Game 7 on the Penguins, winning 5-2. to two. And that could hurt Marc-Andre Fleury's chances of, as in terms of a trade. And down on the farm tonight, the River Cats. Lost to the Aces tonight, 7-6. to six. Your winning pitcher was Shane Burgos. Your losing pitcher was Roberto Gomez. And Tim Frederwitz is having an excellent hitting series for the 
right now for the River Cats. Mac Williamson went to you for four tonight. So Williamson could be closer to being activated, which could give a big boost in the outfield. So that'd be good. And also this week down on the minors, trending up and trending down. And Omar Kalix Day has been trending up, hitting better last few games. Is he right or Jones has been really good? That could be a, and they've been trying him in left field, so right now could be we could see Ryder Jones maybe get a look down the line if things go keep going south for the Giants. I think he could be a, one of the future outfielders. Ty Beatty looked has looked excellent the last few games. He's maybe not maybe maybe he's getting close to being MLB ready. Maybe he needs another start or two. We'll see what happens. And I'm hoping while I'm up in Sacramento in a couple weeks that I can get a Wi-Fi signal at Rayleigh Field so I can do a live on location show at Rayleigh Field in Sacramento. Crossing my fingers in that one. That'd be kind of fun. And if the season were to end today... I gotta get to Clint's question first. Will should the Giants fire Bam Bam? And that, that's an interesting question. You know, do you do they maybe make fire an assistant or something? I'm not sure yet. I don't know if they have the right. They maybe have the right interim candidate, maybe. But I think this team's in more trouble than hitting right now. I think it's just the bullpen's still a mess, so I'd probably not fire him at this point. Maybe you do try to maybe to fire, but I just don't think he needs to be fired just yet. It's I think the problems go beyond that. But yeah, here we go. If the season were to end today, the Yankees would win the AL East. The Indians would win the AL Central. The Astros would win the AL West. And your two wild cards would be the Orioles and Red Sox. In the National League, the Nationals would be winning the NL East. The Cardinals would win the NL Central. The Rockies would win the NL West. And the Dodgers and the D-backs would be your two wild cards in the MLB. And now I've got a question about Barry Bonds being a hitting coach. No, absolutely not. He didn't do well as a hitting coach in Miami, so no. Absolutely not. I was never a fan of Barry Bonds. To begin with, he was, he was never he never got along with teammates and stuff, and I just never got I've never been a Barry Bonds fan. I'm sorry. It's he never got along with teammates and stuff, and he really was a cancer in the clubhouse. All right, tomorrow's probables for the Giants will be Jeff 
Marja against uh, Mattingly Lee does not deserve to be fired. Matting Lee is an okay manager. I think he's doing better. than expected in Miami and but who knows now with the uh, Jeter people possibly buying the buying the Marlins it's going to get interesting but it's better than the dysfunction that was there before okay so tomorrow's probables are Jeff Samarja against that former giant Zach Wheeler and hopefully I'll be on at a better time tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. You can follow me at Rob Iman at twitter.com. Together we're giant. Thank you and have a good night.